cases in a sample of 600 men from a certain city 450 are found to be smokers out of 600 450 are smokers in a sample of 900 from another city 450 are found to be smokers 450 but out of 900 in another city do the data indicate that two cities are significantly different with respect to relevance of smoking habits among men again this is not the case of one tail test because we do not conclude that in city one the proportion of smokers is greater than the proportion of smokers in city two or vice versa so we just require to study the significance of different so this is the case of two tail test okay yes now n1 600 x1 450 n2 900 x2 450 again what is x2 the number of observations having the characteristic of interest what is the characteristic of interest a man being smoker out of 4 uh, 600 450 are smokers that means number of observations with characteristic of interest 450 here also 450 first of all let us calculate p cap 1 x1 by n1 that is 450 by 600 yes 103s are 450 and 154s are so it is 3 by 4 or more precisely 0.75 similarly p cap 2 will be x2 by n2 that is 450 by 900 that means it is 1 by 2 or 0.5 now in this case what is capital P1 and capital P2 there is no information of proportion of smokers in first population as well as proportion of smokers in the second population so we have to calculate a representative capital P through this formula x1 into n1 plus x2 into sorry not x1 but p1 p1 into n1 plus p2 into n2 divided by n1 plus n2 but the simplified formula we know that p1 into n1 is nothing but x1 and p2 into n2 is nothing it is x2 so we can use directly x1 plus x2 divided by n1 plus n2 I personally suggest use of this formula if x1 and x2 are available from the data because this will give us more accurate value of capital P 450 plus 450 divided by 600 plus 900 so ultimately it is 900 divided by 1500 so capital P comes to 0.6 we have capital P cap 1 P cap 2 as well as capital P so now we can start the testing of hypothesis and the first thing is null hypothesis in the question it is given that do the data indicate that two cities are significantly different with respect to relevance of smoking habits among men so in null hypothesis we are going to say that there is no significant difference so the two cities are not significantly different with respect to relevance of with respect to relevance of smoking habits among men HO will be capital P1 equals to capital P2 or capital P1 minus.
minus capital P2 equals to 0. <coughs> the alternative hypothesis after careful reading of the question we are now very clear that this is not case of one tail test that means this is the case of two tail test so we are going just to remove not from the null hypothesis the two cities are significantly different the two cities are significantly different with reference to rather with respect to relevance of smoking habits among men H A will be P1 is not equal to P2 or P1 minus P2 is not equal to 0. Both the sides are open, P1 is less than P2 or P1 is greater than P2. But we do not require to arrive at that type of conclusion if we reject the null hypothesis. That's why this is case of two tail test. Level of significance. No specific information, so we are going to take it is 5%. So alpha is 0 0.05. Since this is two tail test, alpha by 2, that is 0 0.025. Z test, that means degrees of freedom infinite. No need to write it separately. Just write critical value of Z. It is case of two tail test and 5% level of significance. 1.960. Now calculation of Z statistic. P cap 1 minus P cap 2 minus capital P1 minus capital P2. Upon under root capital P into 1 minus capital P upon N1 plus capital P into 1 minus capital P upon N2. Now substitute the value 0.75 minus 0.5 minus 0 upon under root 0.6 into 0.4 divided by 600 plus 0.6 into 0.4 divided by 900 0.25 divided by yes be careful very much care is needed. 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 divided by 600 equals to and then memory plus. Similarly, 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 divided by 900 equal to then memory plus. Then memory recall n square. That should be your sequence of working on calculator.
See, it is not compulsory to take level of significance of 5%. You can take it 1%. It is upon the researcher. What is his level of confidence as well as level of significance? Greater than the calculated value of Z is greater than the critical value. So, the null hypothesis is rejected.